The African Cup of Nations round of 16 keeps on going on Monday at 12 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time between the Blue Sharks of Cape Verde and the Lions of Shingeti of Mauritania. Now let's look at how these teams got here into the round of 16 for Cape Verde. They had a dream start to their tournament, winning their group, Group A, ahead of Egypt at 2-1-0. Match day one, Cape Verde took a 2-1 win over Ghana with a late 90-second minner. Match day two, they ran out to big a big 3 nothing win over Mozambique. And on match day three, they played out an entertaining 2-2 draw with Egypt, even though that game was nil-nil at the half. It was 1-1 going into stoppage time, looking like it would be, that would be the end of the scoring. But there was late goals from both teams, Egypt in the 93rd, and then Cape Verde in the 99th minute for that 2-2 draw. For Mauritania, they advanced not as one of the top two teams in their group, but as one of the best third place teams. They were in Group D. They went 1-0-2. Match day one, they were tied 0-0 with Burkina Faso until a PK in the 96th minute, and they lost 1-0. Match day two, they had a wild game with Angola, and they it was a 3-2 loss for them there. And on match day three, they shocked the group favorites, Algeria, to get a 1-0 win. The odds in this game make Cape Verde odds-on favorites at minus 110. The draw coming in at plus 190. Mauritania being big outsiders at 4-1 underdogs. Simply to advance by any means, be it regulation, extra time, PKs. Cape Verde comes in at minus 250. Mauritania at plus 175. Over 2.5 goals in the game, plus 170. Under 2.5 would be favored at minus 225. Both teams to score yes has some okay plus money at plus 137. Both teams to score no is the favorite outcome at minus 188. Scoring wise for these teams, they had seven different players got a, a goal for Cape Verde. So it's hard to nail down just one player to target. Bebe did have the most shots with eight, but just one shot on target. He is plus 260 to score. Ovani Cabral had the most shots on target with three, and he had four shots. For Mauritania, they had three different players get on the score sheet, all with just one goal. Abukari Koita easily had the most shots on the team with 10, and he had four shots on target. Now, after him, the next closest player was Sidi Buana Amur, with five shots and two shots on target. Historically, between these teams, if we look at their head-to-head -head, uh, stats, Cape Verde is 5-3-3 three, three, all-time head-to-head. But most of those games came way back in 2003 or earlier. However, there were two relatively recent matchups coming in 2019 in the African Nations Championship. Those results being a 2-1 win for Mauritania and a nil-nil draw. Looking at some stats between the, some more stats between these teams, Cape Verde, they now have just one loss in their last six games. And they are 3-2-1 in that time. They're 7-4-4 four, four in their last 15. There's been two or more goals in nine of their past 10 games. Bets on both teams to score would be 6-4. and four. They have scored a goal in eight of their last 10 games. For Mauritania, that Algeria win was their first win after going six games without one. They, <coughs> they now scored a goal in two straight games. However, they had been shut out in four straight games prior to that. There's been two or more goals in eight of their past 12 games. But... There's been two or more goals just one time in their last five. I think Cape Verde has just been the team in better form in this tournament, despite both teams advancing. Cape Verde did win their group, and it was a tough group. They have multiple players that have proved capable of scoring in this tournament with seven different goal scores. I think the best bet is for Cape Verde to win, coming in at minus 110 odds. Now, did you like this AFCON preview? If you're looking for more, just give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and good luck with all of your AFCON picks this tournament.